What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Igmatica 2 Expert. Oh yeah, guys. So since last episode, I've noticed that our ME system was getting quite full. In fact, we only had the ability to put like 10 more items in on this very last disc. So I've been going through the applied energistic system and kind of throwing out all sorts of old stuff. Also, I've been going through our quest book here and completing a whole bunch of these quests that don't really matter. Like forestry, we had a bunch of these things to still craft. So as I was crafting them, we were filling up the ME system and I was like, oh, we're running out of space. Uh, so a lot of these machines I still have in here that we could throw away, but I threw away a bunch of stuff like uh, glass panes and uh, different colored glass and you know, just a bunch of random things that we weren't using. And then I came across in our system here, some of the old, uh, they're like the piece of paper looking icons, like your death message or death sheets or whatever they're called. I don't remember what they are. And I'm like, oh, I don't need these anymore. Let's toss them. As soon as I clicked them into my inventory, it crashed the game. I was like, oh no, what did I do? Uh, I logged or I tried logging back in and it crashed the game again. And then I was finally able to get back in. I thought, okay, I'll try it one more time. And I pulled it out of the system and it just crashed. Uh, so anyway, long story short, I ended up using uh, ME chest, grabbing this thing, putting it here. I was searching the system for the, it was called like death something. I can't remember the name of it. But then I'd pull out these discs until I no longer saw this item appear. And then I put it into the chest and then I uh, extracted everything that was on that disc and put it back in the system and threw that disc away. I'm like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> but anyway, now that that's all done, I kind of feel like when I click into the applied energistics, maybe it's a little bit more snappy. I don't know. Maybe there was something weird going on with some particular items in there that caused a little bit of slowdown. I feel like it's faster. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, guys, we are trying to get ourselves to this creative vending upgrade. Last episode, we were able to get ourselves a creative gas tank, and now we are going to be working towards this. Now, we've already have the ultimate catalyst done, and we have these creative items in the center done, so a big portion of the hard things are done. We still have to make these infinity ingots. These are kind of important to do. Well, we only have to make one, because uh, as we saw before, the infinity ingot once we get one, we can melt it down, right? So infinity ingot melts down and then we can just put that fluid inside of our creative tank and then we can make infinite of the infinity ingots. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to make one of these. Now, one of these items in order to craft, it requires a neutronium, which we have all of, I believe we're growing neutronium, right? Yeah, so we can make all of the neutronium. That's not even an issue. Okay, so we have that. Uh, crystal matrix ingots, that is just diamonds plus nether stars, easy, we can make all of those. So the harder parts here are the infinity catalyst and the ultimate singularity. So actually, how many of those do we need? So we needed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 infinity catalysts. So 11 of these guys, which means we need 11 of everything in here, including all these singularities. And then we're going to need two of the ultimate singularities, which is two more of all of these items. So essentially, we're going to need a whole lot of singularities. Now, we started working on these earlier on, so we have some in the system, but nowhere near what we need and a whole lot extra of some of them. Uh, like gold, for instance, I think we don't need that many, but maybe we'll use them in some other recipe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's start looking at this stuff. So we're going to need 11 awakened cores. We're going to need 11 different music discs, which mean we cannot put those all into the system. And once we have to craft these all individually, uh, since music discs, even the same type, don't stack. We're going to need 11 endist pearls. So there's that. Uh, ultimate stew cosmic meatballs, I think. We already have that taken care of. Yeah, we have plenty of ultimate stew and cosmic meatballs. Yeah, we have plenty of those. What else do we need here? Neutronium we've seen, Ludicrate we can craft, these things we can craft, uh, Dragon Egg, yeah, we have that on Craftable. Uh, block of Enhanced Ender. Okay, so we've made these before, but we haven't had to make the blocks. So the Ender Ingot plus the Ender Star, which is just a whole lot of this Ender crafting and the Ender Alternator stuff, it just takes time. We can craft those no problem. 
Ethium, we got elite plating we can make. These we can make. Uh, email views, yeah, we can make all of this stuff. Terrestrial artifact, I think we have those on auto craft. Can I tell the system to make 11 of those? Because I know that's going to take a minute to do. Yeah, looks like uh, it'll allow me to do that. So that'll uh, use our empower, or I guess enhanced crafting, whatever. What happened to my GEI, my tooltip? I was pressing some numbers on the keypad earlier, and I think I might have turned those off. Ah, numpad one turns that off. Our crafting core, yeah. So that's crafting up these guys. Oh, that was pretty easy. So we have 11 of those. Um, yeah, so I guess what we need to do is figure out how we're going to make a lot of these things. So coal singularity, we need coal blocks. And in order to make coal blocks, it looks like we can cast out liquefacted coal. So if we don't have enough coal in the system from crops, we can melt down some coal somehow, pulverized coal, and put that into our creative fluid tank. And then we can take that and probably use this ingot former as we saw before, which was really fast to do. Actually, I guess that ingot former is not gonna make what we want, is it? Hmm. So we can melt down into liquefacted coal, but is there a way to actually turn that fluid back into coal? Maybe I am going down <laughs> the, uh, the wrong path here for how to do this. So block of coal. Oh no, yeah, so the liquefacted coal does turn into uh, solid blocks of coal using the casting basin. Yeah, if you do in the ingot, then you get the wrong thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some time here and kind of go through, I'm on the wrong thing. I'm gonna take some time here, kind of go through these different items, see if we can just make all of it from all the mystical agriculture stuff we have. And if not, we will look at making these through the ingot former. Yeah, I think that's gonna be really good. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and give this a try together to see how well this is going to work. So we have ourselves our ingot former, and it has fully upgraded. Uh, we have a flux point on here with no limit. We are powering our quantum compressor that has a crystal tine catalyst in there. And we have our creative fluid tank. So we need to, first of all, set our creative fluid tank with iron. Take that back. All right, so now we need to grab a configurator. And this needs to configure items, so we will extract out of this, and then we need to configure fluids, and we will extract out of that. So it looks like things are working, but how fast are they working? Mm, not super fast. Not super fast at all. Okay, so this is going to take a while for this to complete. I bet we can time in a bottle this, maybe to go faster. If I click that a couple times, what's going on here? So we are still... Kind of going a little slow. Okay, we're going faster now. And we are still not going really fast, but we only need, what, what did I say, 11 of these? Maybe 13 of these in total, uh, because the other thing possibly, yeah, this one uses iron. So we're gonna need 13 of those. So that's used in both. And I think we already had, um, yeah, we already have five of those. So that's not gonna be too bad, but this is gonna be a lot of like waiting on these things to go faster. Oof, oh my goodness, guys. So here's another thing that I was looking at while we're waiting on this thing to go. Uh, another thing I was looking at is the coal one that we were just kind of talking about. So we saw that we can do liquefacted coal and cast it out. Um, I don't think there's a fast method of us casting these out. Uh, we do have these, the, uh, Tinker IO smart output things. Um, so these kind of work and I guess we could make a bazillion of these and pipe a whole bunch of stuff in there and extract out of it. That might be what we end up doing. I'm not really sure. Like if we let it cool in the casting basin from Tinkers, that is really slow because we got to wait for it to cool down. And these kind of ignore that. So they uh, they go fast, but uh, they still kind of are limited. There's no way to really speed them up. Um, I don't really know the best way to go about doing this. I was almost thinking we could do a uh, an RF Tools world made of coal blocks and just kind of like grab them that way. That might be something worth doing. Uh, I think we're going to hold off on coal for now, and we're just going to continue on doing these other ones. 
Uh, so another thing to point out about the coal, 10,000 blocks of coal. Well, let's do, let's do this. So 10,000 blocks of coal. Why does that say 10,056? Oh, I did that the wrong way, didn't I? I meant to grab four of those. Or I mean, I meant to grab 60 of those. There we go. Okay, so now we're at 10,000. So 10,000 blocks of coal is 90,002. So that'll get us one singularity with 90,002. So let's just add a zero. That'd be like 10 of those, right? So if we wanted, or I guess it'll be a total of 11. So if we wanted to make 900,020, and we do that, it says that we are missing, like we need over double of the essence of what we currently have. Uh, so even if we wanted to like just craft this stuff up with our essence, we can't do that. Uh, we wouldn't have enough. And this thing takes forever to craft. So I don't think using our essence really is a viable method of doing that. Yeah, so we're either at casting it out with a whole lot of like these smart output things or making an RF tools dimension. Uh, how far along are we down here on the singularity? We have been going for a few minutes here and we're only halfway there. Again, we can speed that up with the time in a bottle. We don't have unlimited time, but we do have a decent amount in this bottle. So I might just sit here and camp this thing, but I'm gonna have to do that for each and every one of these things. Oh my goodness, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna take some time here, try and knock out some of these other items and we'll be right back, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. So we now have all of these different parts together that we need in order to make the Infinity Catalyst, all 11 of these. And I placed down the singularities, the ones that we have in the correct spot. Some of these we don't have enough, like this one we only have four and we only get five of the glowstone. Some of them we have enough, like the iron now and aluminum singularities. But I guess gold too. We actually have one extra gold in the system. We had 14 of those. Uh, almost enough diamond singularities. So we're kind of at the point now where we got to figure out how to get these fluids turned into an ingot into the singularity faster. Uh, the iron one I left go while I was crafting up all of this other stuff. Uh, crafting up this stuff. That, what was it? This one? Is it this one? Yeah. Like we needed more of the uh, draft of Ingolus or whatever that is, which means that to make more antiseptic and neurotoxin and mess around with all the blood magic stuff for that. And anyway, so like I spent a bunch of time like getting all these things together. And even by the time I was done, we still didn't have enough iron singularities. We started with five. We were still short. Uh, so these are all going to take like literally forever if we just let them go at the current speed that they are going, right? So right now I'm doing steel and it's about not even halfway done of the first one. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. we need 13 of those actually. Yeah. We need 13 of those, uh, cause we need two of them in this one. And then we need like all these other ones too, that we haven't even started looking at. So I'm trying to figure it out. Like what the best way for us to do this is going to be. So let me grab this. We'll grab this guy. And let's just do just a quick experiment here. So I started messing around with this already. So we have the ultimate mechanical pipe going into a casting table. Uh, and you can see it makes an ingot. If I right click on that, it fills up and then we got to wait for it to make another ingot. And if we make a bunch of these tables, we can make a bunch of ingots. That is a possibility, but that is pretty slow. Don't you think? I think so. Uh, if we place this, we can put in the slot upgrade here and put this and it makes those a little bit faster, but this is kind of glitchy and I'm not sure if I want to do this, but this might be the best way. If we make a hundred of these, well, I don't even know if we want to do a hundred. Let's just say we make like 10 of these, like we can get 50 ingots pretty quick. I think that's a little bit faster than what this thing's doing. Well, maybe not. Maybe it'd be better if we just make a whole bunch of these ingot formers. Um, yeah, how much power is this using? It's using 65,000 RF per tech, and then we need all of these different upgrades. Yeah, I'm not actually sure what the best way of doing it. Maybe just making these ingot formers would be the best way, because that way, yeah, it all is just inside one block. We can just pipe the fluid in. It feels like it's going faster than this one was doing those five. Yeah, it's definitely faster than what that's doing. So I guess this is probably what we're going to do. We're going to have to make an array of ingot formers 
feed them all the fluid that we're trying to form into ingots, and then we gotta extract from all of those different ones into our quantum compressor. Okay, so now that we got ourselves a plan, uh, ingot, ooh, ingot former, I don't have that on autocraft. That is not very expensive. Okay, so it's basic plating. I'm not sure how many we want. Basic plating, let's do 100 of those just so we don't have to worry about it. If we wanna add more, we can add more. Uh, we need the ferro boron, ferro boron. Let's do like a hundred of those. So that will allow us to do a bit of them. And then machine chassis, we have five of those. It's cramped up a few more. Uh, what goes in? Actually, we have those on auto craft, I believe. Just tell it to craft up 10 more of those things. Okay. So now we got stuff happening here. Uh, ingot former. Apparently I need hoppers. Oh no, uh, tough alloy. Okay, so we'll craft that up. All right, so now we should be able to make a bunch of these guys. Well, here's four of them. Uh, a hopper was the other thing that we needed. Okay, so we'll have enough to craft uh, 16 of these things. We have 11, that makes 12 over here. Um. 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so we'll have 16 ingot formers. Guys, that is so much. So that means we need 16 stacks of speed upgrades, 16 stacks of energy upgrades. We need to figure out the power solution, and then we need to pipe all the items into the ingot formers and have them all go into the quantum compressor. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment here. I'm gonna take a moment here, put things away, try and get things together and see if we can do this in a more efficient way. All right, guys, so we have all 16 ingot formers laid out. We have the ultimate logistical transporters all extracting out of the machines, and then we have the ultimate mechanical pipes all pushing the fluid into all of these. Uh, this has a large internal buffer, so we have 1,024 buckets of molten steel already in the pipe, plus we can provide unlimited uh, through this. And if we need to extract more, I can add in more pipes on extract mode. Uh, I hooked up all the power, but I have not put a power source on here. And once I do, this thing will turn on. I'm kind of curious to see how fast this will go. So let's grab ourselves a point. By the way, uh, if you want to make 16 stacks of energy upgrades and speed upgrades, it's like 960 of each one. Oh my goodness, those energy upgrades take forever. I just told it to craft a thousand, so we have extra in the system. But <laughs> just this little side note there. All right, so we are using a million FE per tick. Okay, now it's gone down. I guess it was just filling these things up. Uh, so we are using around 300,000, 400,000. Okay, so are we doing this at a reasonable speed? Uh, okay, so the logistical transporters are not keeping up. That was something that I was afraid of. Uh, the logistical transporters must have some kind of an internal buffer or whatever, like they can only hold so many items. Okay, so this is not going as fast as what it could be going, so this is a bad test. Let's get rid of these. I was thinking these might be able to do some good stuff. Somewhere I remember reading that these things can do like eight stacks of items. Pump rate, 128 per second. Oh, you know what? I guess that is kind of slow, isn't it? I thought that I read before that the ultimate logistical transporters can move like eight stacks of items at a time or per second or something, I don't know. Uh, but those definitely aren't as good as I thought they were. So let's go ahead and grab, I guess, uh, item conduit. Well, we have to craft a little bit more of that. And then we're gonna need uh, extraction upgrades for each one of these. Hopefully these will keep up. I know that the Ender IO conduits in the later versions kind of like extract when they feel like it, not like they used to where they're always extracting all the time. Uh, and then we need the speed upgrade. So I guess we're gonna need something like about a thousand of those. Is it? No, not even quite that. It's gonna be something like 400, I think. Can we, can we do that? I wonder how long that's gonna take to craft these up. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff all crafted up, make so many of these extract upgrades, get them all hooked up and we'll come right back to see if that's a pretty big improvement. 
All right, with 16 of the ingot formers, all with the Ender IO conduit with the full speed upgrades on there, it seems to be going decently fast. Like, I think we can handle this speed. I would still like this to go faster, but like, even still, like, we've almost made a second one or stored that many items, and it hasn't even made the first one yet. So, I would say that's going decently fast. Now, I could time in a bottle this to speed up the crafting of the, um, the singularity. But yeah, we're using like two, one million FE per tick, two million per tick. I don't know. But either way, we're going faster than it can actually create the singularities, which I think that is perfect. Okay, so we know how to do the rest of these metal ones, the ones that we can get the fluid for. The other problem that we're going to have here, like we saw before, the coal singularity, uh, I think it's going to be the same for lapis, for redstone, uh, potentially glowstone, maybe diamond diamond is those me might be okay on those guys flux crystal singularity these are going to be a real pain there is no way for us to like get these blocks other than crafting them so this is going to take forever for us to do um let's see was there anything else in here i'm not sure okay well for sure coal lapis redstone those three and maybe glowstone we'll say those four we're probably going to need to make ourselves an RF tools dimension for. I think that's probably going to be the best way for us to get these since we need full blocks of all of these and then the uh, glowstone included. Yeah, I think an RF tools dimension makes a lot of sense. So uh, we've already seen how to do that before. I'm going to go ahead and get stuff together. Hopefully we will be able to craft up an RF tools dimension uh, for each one of those. And we'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, so we have a block of coal dimlet already, which is fantastic, but we do not have the redstone, the glowstone, or the lapis blocks. Uh, we don't have dimlets for those, so we need to make them. Now glowstone, we actually do have chisel variants, but then we'd have to go and unchisel them, and that seems like a lot of work, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, what we can do though is take the chisel the glowstone one since we're not going to be using those and put them through the extractor and we can get a rarity five out of that since that is a rarity five um so we're going to need another rarity five we have one here we're going to need a second one for lapis and i believe the glowstone was a rarity four anyway you can search through this thing here this which machine this is called the dimla workbench if you search for glowstone uh, if we scroll all the way to the bottom we can find the vanilla one and you can see right there all the different parts. If you double click it, it puts them all in there. If we search for redstone, block of redstone, that's a rarity four. Uh, if we double click that, you can see it swaps out that rarity five for a rarity four here and we get everything else. But we are needing the material item there, the little brown flashy thingy. Yeah, we need that. Uh, so let's take a look at, oh, I can I not type in here? Okay, so uh, we want RF tools dimension. So this is a material absorber, and I forget exactly how many it is. Is it 1,024 or is it 512 different items in order for this thing to absorb? Maybe it was 16 stacks. Is that 1,024? I seem to remember or something like that. Anyway, so material absorber. I think, yeah, we have one. I'm not sure if that, it says it's owned by me. But I'm not, it says it has MBT DAGs, but I'm not sure what we were absorbing with that. So let me make a new one. Uh, that uh, requires us to have a machine, machine frame. I'm actually going to make three of those since we're going to need three of those if we're making all brand new ones. Okay, so material absorber. Let's grab redstone. Oh uh, boy, so we don't have any of that done. Let's do glowstone. Do we have that? Okay, so one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I think that's how many we need. I could be wrong. And then wand. Uh, I guess I have that in here. Okay. So we have the wand and we have the glowstone. What we need to do is place these down. Do is that eight by was that eight by eight or eight by nine? I don't know. I, I was trying to do eight by eight so we could do like a full stack per layer, but. We'll just do it, whatever, whatever I ended up doing it, I'm sure it'll be fine. So we just need to go all the way up here until we're out of glowstone. I must have done it eight by eight. Anyway, uh, so we can do this and we will place this right here on top and that should grab all the glowstone. 
Yep, and we can accelerate this, I think. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that sound, though. Okay, so that was 16 stacks, and... Oh, we are 99%. I'm not sure how much we need. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> so we needed 16 stacks plus, what, was that three or four or something like that? I don't know. But anyway, we have a material absorber with the block glowstone now completed, which is fantastic. Let's get rid of these things. We don't need those. So now that we have the block glowstone, we can come in here and make ourselves a dimlet for that particular material. So again, glowstone. We'll scroll all the way to the bottom. Make sure we have, we'll double click that and make sure we get everything in here and it grabs the absorber out of our inventory. Okay, it looks like we are good to go. So now we have the vanilla glowstone. We have the coal block. Uh, I'm gonna continue to do this for redstone and lapis. I think lapis we already have. Yeah, we have a bunch of blocks for that. The redstone, however, I need to tell the system to craft a whole bunch of those. I'm not, how, how much is 16 stacks worth? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, how about like 2,000? I'm sure if it's not 2,000, I'll be able to craft up more later, but we'll have those ready to go. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing for lapis and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so after we had all four of our different dimlets, the coal, the lapis, the glowstone, and the redstone dimlets made, uh, in the dimension inscriber, I put our empty description tab. I put all four of those in here, followed by a huge orb, and that's all we did. So those are the only things this thing knows about, and in order to keep this thing going, it is <laughs> two and a quarter million RF per tick. Whew, that's expensive. Uh... If we come down here and take a look at our power situation, we are currently losing power quite quickly. That is because this thing also uses about a million RF per tick here. So if we stop this, probably be a good idea. Um, yeah, I think we just do this. So we're no longer using power. We're still feeding in items. And I think that's fine. This has like a bazillion items in here. We'll just queue it up for later and then we can like speed through that. But if we look over here, we are still kind of losing power. Yeah, it's kind of going up, kind of going down. Maybe we're just kind of keeping the same. Anyway, we're about half full on here. I noticed a little bit ago that we are losing power when we are doing the singularities. Turns out that our reactor in the end had turned off. And that might have been when I had to go there and collect some DT fuel last episode or a couple episodes ago. I don't remember, but... Yeah, we weren't running power anymore. It was like, oh no. Anyway, uh, so we should be good. This thing is here. This is fluctuating a little bit. And since we're using such high power, I'm definitely gonna keep the phased field generator on our hotbar. And we're not gonna touch that thing because we could potentially have problems if we do. So we're gonna do from our home transmitter to the coal lap glow red. So let's check it. Receiver blocked. I'm not sure why it says receiver blocked. If I dial, uh, we get a yellow beam. I don't know if it says receiver blocked because we've never been there before. Um, it might be because we've never been there before. Oh boy, I hate to go there and then end up dying. I mean, everything seems like it's okay, right? We got power here. I got this thing. Uh, let's... Okay. Well, I guess the receiver is blocked because there's snow on it. Uh, looks like we got a bunch of mobs. What is this block? Dimension cross block. Okay, well, I told this to give us huge orbs, and it said that it did... Ooh, man, we're getting some sort of lag. Um, I wonder, do we have huge orbs? What Y level? We're Y30. So if I dig down into this. Okay, well, we do have the huge orbs. So this is like nether generation, I guess. Uh, we have lapis. We have glowstone. It looks like coal over here, right? Yeah, and redstone. Well, I mean, this is all good. Maybe I should make myself the... Um, I think that you can craft the void one, right? And I think that will force it to be a void world with these things without any terrain generation. Maybe I should redo this. Okay, so our new dimension just finished. 
Uh, still the same thing. Glow or coal, glowstone, lapis, redstone in a void world this time. So hopefully we'll have better results. So we will do this one and we will check it. it says dial. Okay. So we'll dial it. We still got this thing on the bar in this dimension. Is this costing more? This is costing. It's about the same. It's about the same. All right. So let's go ahead and go here. Maybe there we go. Ah, much better. Okay. So yeah, now we can see the different orbs and we can see, oh my goodness. It's so much redstone right there and so much lapis, so much everything. Ooh, what is this little thing? Oh, okay. That was like the little nub of <laughs> one of the orbs. I was like, what is that? It's just like one little block there. Okay. So this is exactly what we want. These are the, the items that we need. So if we grab ourselves a builder, uh, I think we use this one. This one is infused and then we need a quarry card. Silk quarry quarry. I think we want silk core. Oh, oh, this is on auto craft. I thought we had one ready to go. So it looks like we're, oh no, <laughs> we're missing some of these different things. So I'm going to have to go ahead and make that and start quarrying out all of these different pieces. But guys, I, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, we've seen the quarry work. We've seen the generation of this. This is pretty awesome. We'll be able to get all the blocks that we need. We just need to get ourselves like 130,000 of each different block because it's 10,000 per singularity. And that shouldn't be too difficult to do. But yeah, it's just going to be a lot of gathering the materials and then waiting on our uh, singularity compressor thingy. Yeah, we got to wait on that a whole lot anyway for all of our different singularities that we need. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.